What is happening, YouTube friends? This is Trent coming at you from Southeast Texas. Uh, today we have a service call. We've got a mini excavator that's gone down on a man. Said he was running it and uh, he shut down. After talking to the owner, it sounded like it's a, a fuel related issue we have. So we're in search of this uh, mini S out here on the road. Oh, and I think I see it right there in the woods. A uh, little, okay, a little 303 cat. All right, a little bitty thing. Still, oh man, and it's in the swamp. Okay, guys, well, let's get over here. Let's get up to this guy and let's start troubleshooting. Let's see what's going on with it. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so I've got the uh, excavator opened up. And I see what's going on, what he's talking about. He's not getting any fuel to his uh, primary high pressure pump here. I broke the line loose. I turned the key on and what that does, that will actuate this little lift pump right here. He'll pull fuel in from the filter and it runs through some lines back around to here at a low pressure to feed the high pressure pump. So what I've noticed is, I'm gonna turn the key on real quick up here you hear our little pump is running and uh he has no discharge pressure at all zero these little pumps have a spring with a ball on the discharge side a little ball check they're notorious about wearing out over time and when you do that this little pump is a little, it's a PD pump, positive placement, but over time that little ball check will wear out and then you'll get no fuel. So this appears to be the problem. I'm gonna bypass it. I have another spare pump on the, well, I have another pump on the truck and uh, we're gonna jump it over and see if we can get it running. All right, so what I've done here is I've got a, another little electrical pump off my truck and I know it looks kind of hood, but I had to use some jumper wires off the plug. So I bypassed the little PD pump that comes from the factory. I know it's bad. I went directly on the output side of the filter, ran a hose around to the suction of my pump. And there's my discharge hose. This is gonna run up here and tie in to right here. But let's see if it works real quick. Let's see if our theory is correct. Um, let's turn the key on and we should have fuel come out. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just what we wanted. We're gonna get this bad boy. All right, stand by. Let me uh, put our uh, temp temporary jumper hose on here on our inlet. It's our high pressure pump. We'll see if this dude start up and run. And we'll get it out of this mud hole where we can work on it a little better. Okay, so everything's hooked up now. I got my electrical jumpers in. I got my discharge line tied in. Everything's out of the way. Shouldn't nothing be in the way. Let's give this guy a go. Let's see if it'll crank up. I sure hope it will. Oh, man. Like butter. Way to go. That's all it was. That little fuel pump, that little lift pump was bad. And uh, put this whole machine down. So, the little troubleshooting guys is all it takes. I'm going to uh, close this guy up the best I can. I'm going to get him picked up and get him out of this mud hole. Get him up here closer to the room. But we ain't going to stand in all this nastiness. I'm going to order a new pump for it, the right pump. Put it all back together. But for now, guys, that's all it was. Just that little pump with that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you.